Um, at Ollie, we are really investing in personalization and really investing in giving customers options, options to choose. Um, you know, we're doing things like um, you know, building building your own box, building your own kind of uh, regimen, and um, personalizing your own experience on site. We've got you know you, you build your own regimen with a quiz. Um, actually, Storyly has been been a big part of that of of like building your own experience on site, seeing content that's personalized towards the individual customer and, and demographic and. Um, and that's been really exciting for us, actually, kind of given us a new way to show different types of content to different customers. Inspiration is so important um, to get customers to feel something and then to take action. For us, a way to inspire people to just take little actions that can make your life better versus like these huge, like unachievable types of different things. I think at Ollie, you know, what we're really looking to do is to help people take little actions that they can sustain actually throughout the whole year. And so for inspiration, that is something for us that, that we want to do. <laughs> and again, I think Storyly has helped us tell that story on our site, um, you know, in little bite-sized pieces. And, and that's really the way we want to tell this sort of happy new you story is, is in little bite-sized pieces. So. I'm really glad, Sonar, you brought up the the polls because honestly, that's been one of our favorite things about Storyly. And it's so different than sending out a survey or sending out, you know, or even doing like a survey on social media or anything like that. And I think one of the stories I told all of you was we have, you know, we're known for our gummy vitamins and we introduced uh, a line of soft gels a couple of years ago. And, you know, we've had a struggle with customers calling in and complaining that our soft gels are, they taste terrible. And we're like, you're not supposed to taste them. You're supposed to swallow them. And, you know, we really just couldn't figure out what was going on. And we just didn't really understand if it was a widespread issue that people were trying to chew our soft gels. And so we used the story, like, you know, the little poll to try to figure out if people, if it was like really a widespread issue, if people were trying to chew our soft gels and we found out, yes, it is, it is truly <laughs> a widespread issue. People are definitely trying to chew our soft gels. Um, you know, in that it's, it was like an easy, fun, cute way of doing it. And also being able to communicate like, no, don't do that. That's, they're not for chewing. Um, you know, that could have been a big deal in a, in a big communication and, you know, an email campaign. It just would have been, it would have had like a more negative feel. It could have had like, you know, a heavier feel had we had to use other communications types, other communication channels to try to get that to our customers. But because we were using this poll, it was fun. It was cute. It was light. Um, it also helped us change our messaging as a whole and, you know, showing um, our soft gels with a glass of water, for example. And like, you know, I used the soft gel example. That was one that we specifically post created to gather information to understand if we needed to change our marketing strategy and that one in particular was around the visual nature of how we show our soft gels like if we needed to show them with a glass of water if we needed to show a person literally swallowing them and not chewing them um, just to help customers understand that they were not to be chewed so that one was like a super specific example mm -hmm. um i think with others um you know, we have asked questions like, um, you know, which things do you like to take together? And so we've asked a lot of questions around like, what kind of different products do you take together? And so that's changed some strategies around like, which products we market together, specific products together. Like, oh, you like to take Hello Happy and Goodbye Stress together. Mm -hmm. um, because everyone in this poll said, these are the ones that they like to take together. So we created a bundle that was though that were those two products together. Um, so I think it kind of depends on what it is. I would say it's generally product related um, or imagery related.